most generous people that I know. He has time for everyone. He made time for the oldest kids to the absolute youngest kid. There's never been a moment of time I've been with Jeff where I felt the slightest ounce of negativity. He would always be positive to us during rehearsal and shows, and that helped me to be more positive towards my friends and family. When he knows the costume shop is overwhelmed, he might go down there and, and pitch in. I don't know how he does it, but he just like calms everybody down. Having compassion and empathy for everyone that we are working with and everyone that we have the opportunity to engage with. His leadership skills and um, his sense of honor and his work ethic. When we were rehearsing for Jackie and Me this past spring, um, we were talking and uh, he said very few things can change a person and a piece of theater is one of those things. And that. Uh, really stuck with me because I realized what Jeff is doing and how many lives he's touched personally and artistically through the theater that he's doing at the Todd Ware, but also through the academy here at the Mayak. Jeff Frank was one of my graduate students here at the University of Utah. He was an excellent student, insightful, resourceful, but above all, he had a gift that very few people did. He had ability to handle people with generosity, thoroughness, responsibility, and still problem solve everything that came his way. He's a keeper. What is one of your favorite memories of Jeff? Oh. <laughs> the girls told me not to cry, but I'm gonna say the birth of our first child, because uh, it was one of the times <laughs> when um, he and I were really, we, we, we still look back on that time as um, a time that it was just the two of us and there was no one else in the world and you know that he helped me and coached me and everything that I needed and when I couldn't think of what I needed then he had a new suggestion and of course there was a wonderful end to that story, a beautiful baby girl. So. How did you first meet Jeff? When I was born. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I was working at a theater in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and uh, he came in as the outreach director uh, that would do direct the school tours and be in charge of all of the classes and things uh, for youth, uh, kids that would come in. And we were, uh, he was directing Charlotte's Web, and I was his set designer. But what was funny is my old set design for the school tour show was sitting in the corner and I said, well, what do you think of that over there? And he goes, that stinks. I mean, look at this and this and this. And I went, mm -hmm. I, drew, I designed that, yeah. One of my favorite memories of Jeff was the first time I auditioned for First Stage. I thought it was gonna be really scary, but he helped it to make it really fun. First Stage was celebrating our 10th year anniversary and we were doing Peter Pan. And I was in the production, I was playing Wendy and it was like tech week and all of a sudden, the director, Rob Goodman, decided we really needed a narrator in the show. And so Jeff, his first week being on the job, was thrown in as the narrator of the show. And so I was able to do my last production with First Stage as a young performer, which was his first. So I'm still sort of a newbie in children's theater and Jeff Frank really sort of opened his arms and welcomed me in. I thought you had to be called Jeff in order to be a leader in children's theater because of Jeff Church and Jeff Revels and Jeff Frank. So Jeff Frank calls me Black Jeff. He's so sweet. Oh, hi. This is my, uh, my best impersonation of Jeff Frank. Throughout the time we traveled through Moscow, Long days, carting kids around, doing shows. <laughs> We'd go to bed, four of us sleeping in the same room, single little beds in Moscow. He'd go to bed at 10 o'clock at night in that position, and when he'd wake up in the morning, he hadn't moved a muscle. After we'd go to sleep, I used to place things on an arm or on a hand to see if he moved. Never moved a muscle. I'm Jeff. I'm a nice guy. I'm talented. I have a great family. I like to run. I like to run a lot. Hey, hey guys, I'm Jeff. Uh, I'm the artistic director here, which means that I run everything. <sighs> That's probably it.
<laughs> and the big bug eyed. <laughs> or like when he's frustrated and he just does the like three G face. <sighs> you know. Uh... My name is Jeff. I'm working on my back flips. You guys have just made me so proud. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> You guys have just made me so proud. <laughs> just thank you. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to your dad? I love you, Dad. <laughs> I could not get away today without saying a special hello from my mom, my dad, and my brother, who you've been a part of their life as much as mine. Um, You've changed my life in so many ways, and life skills through stage skills, I would never have known that without you. Jeff, I just want to thank you. You've touched my life in so many ways, so many huge ways that are going to stick with me for the rest of my life as I go on to do whatever it is I'm going to do, whether it's theater or something else. That's going to stick with me forever. I am so grateful, Jeff, to have been able to work with you for so long and I feel so fortunate to have you as my mentor um, and to be able to look to you and lean on you when I need guidance and support and know that I'm always going to get it and it's always going to be truly from your heart. I'm thrilled he's still at first stage because it gives me a place to visit when I come back to Wisconsin. Absolutely excellent. Jeff, I hope you stay there 30 years. You're one of my best, man. Love you. Thanks. Happy celebration. Jeff, congratulations on 10 years as artistic director. You're a great guy. Thank you for opening up your home to me. Thank you for your artistic friendship and your personal friendship. Looking forward to seeing you someday soon. Congratulations.